Greetings viewers. Thank you for uh, tuning into this video. Um, if you've never met me before, my name is Mr. Will. Of course, I'm one of the puppeteers on the puppet truck. And uh, the video that you are about to watch is all about prop building. So I uh, hope that you find something informative and enjoy. Well, this episode that you are viewing is pretty self-explanatory. Now, if you are going to build a prop for a puppet show, or if you're about to do anything in general before you jump directly into something, oftentimes it's you know pretty good to just go ahead and do a little bit of research. So before I started building this project, I did a little research. And honestly speaking, the first place that I went to was Google. Um, I looked up Japanese palaces, uh, scrolled through a few of the images that they had on uh, Google, and then I found something that I really enjoyed and I decided to go ahead and print off a picture and told myself this is the one I was going to use for this build. Uh, side note, um, it's probably best not to look that close to the computer screen when you're doing your research. <laughs> so since I'm on the puppet truck and our main base is the downtown library, of course, I'm going to go on the website and look up, you know, different resources. Now, I had to type in Japanese architecture instead of Japanese palaces, but it pulled up a ton of materials that were at my disposal and I would have been foolish not to use those resources. And once upon a time before I was a puppeteer, I was a library page. So looking at materials and finding them in the building came natural to me, but please do not hesitate if you can't find something online to actually call to the library and the librarians will help you find your materials. And would you look at that? Found my books. They can find some for you too as well. So if you place that hole, they will bring it out to your curbside. And so thumbing through a few of the pages of the books, of course, I found some images that reminded me of the one that I saw on Google. So I just uh, took some photocopies and then brought them uh, to where I was working on everything. And the next thing you do is start your research on your materials. So you've got your materials, you've got your wood, you've got your board, you got a little bit of MDF uh, board little bit of red oak now how are you going to cut it and attach it it's the next question now i already knew that to cut the wood i was going to need some actual tool tools so i do have a table saw i've also got a miter saw um i knew that i was going to need a pull saw for the very small parts um and then also um i knew that i was going to need um the craft knives so that i could uh, cut and score the uh cardstock Mm -hmm. Then you move on to the adhesives. You gotta have some wood glue to hold all that wood together. Um, I use a couple of different kinds of tape, scotch and masking, just so that, you know, I can hold stuff together as well, just temporarily. And then I just use a little bit of spray adhesive as well, just because I am using some paper and cardstock. Right, then uh, you move on to the color. You want to know what you're actually going to be painting this and or what you want it to look like. So you think about your paint, you think about your colored paper, you think about all of those things at this time. And so when you think that you've got everything covered, uh, this is the time when you actually run through the checklist. Uh, you make sure that you've got, you know, what you need, uh, all of that stuff, and then you have to understand that you might run into a problem a little bit on down the road, but as long as you got most of these materials, most of your research done, that means you've done a lot of the legwork. And now the only thing you can do from here is just go ahead and start creating. That's, that's when it becomes a lot more fun. All 
All right, viewers, um, I've got to let you all go until next time, but I want to say thank you all so much again for tuning into this video. Again, my name is Mr. Will. Um, make sure you research before you do just about anything. <laughs> research will always help you as long as you're in the know, then hopefully you'll be on the right path to success. Thanks again, you guys. See you next week.